guys, it's Lisa from Two Creator Website. Well, 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 so Google continues to play catch up in the social media game with Facebook. So this week they launched their Google Plus Pages, basically the answer to the Facebook page. And while there are a handful of differences, the two main differences are number one, it's Google, right? Enough said. Whether you like it or not, it's Google, and a lot of people are just jumping on it because it is Google. It's hard to ignore it, right? The second reason is the Google Plus network and their pages are do follow. So let's say the Google Plus network matures and your page gets a page rank of a 7 and you have a link to your website from your G Plus page. Well, that page rank is flowed through your website and your Google Plus page is counted as a quality relevant backlink to your website. The reason why this do follow issue is so big with a lot of people is Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, a bunch of other sites use no follow. So if you have a link on your YouTube channel homepage to your website, the page rank of your YouTube channel or the page rank of your Twitter page or whatever page that your link is on that has the no follow attribute, it does not flow any of its page rank to your website. So it doesn't help when it comes to SEO and page rank and all that kind of stuff. But with Google Plus, it's different. The links right now are do follow. So it's going to be interesting to see how Google juggles that because you know people are going to try to exploit that and it's just going to be interesting to see how the spammers handle that. Right now, Google Plus seems to be very clean overall. But we'll see how, how long that lasts. So that's kind of an interesting point. So the issue is, what's the SEO impact of the Google Plus pages? That's what everybody really wants to know. But the answer is, we don't know. It's way too new. I would never get on here today this early saying, you've got to create your page, otherwise you're going to lose all your traffic. I had somebody email me and ask me that. They were worried, like, if I don't create a page, do you think Google's going to drop me? I don't think Google's going to drop anybody, but as the pages, if the pages begin to get popular and people start adopting, then it's more likely that they'll probably start using that page data, how many plus ones you have, how many people you have in your circles. That's going to be used to influence SEO. How much? Again, we won't know and we'll probably never know. But the more popular Google Plus becomes, the more influence it's going to have, you know, obviously. But um, right now, it's way too early to tell. But what I find interesting is the timing. You know, a lot of people lost their rankings in mid-October and then in late September as well. So it's almost like Google's like, all right, we're going to give people a reason to want to use us, you know. And I'm just speculating, guys. I don't know this. I shouldn't, I probably shouldn't even say that because people hear stuff like that and run with it. But um, it does kind of make you wonder. It's like, hmm, things that make you go, hmm. But I thought about that last night and I was like, hmm. Because think about it. Google is a business. Google is number one on search. And they want you to feel like you need them. So... As upsetting as I know it is for a lot of people, like a lot of people are really starting to dislike Google, but at the same time, they're doing business. Like it or love it, they're trying to compete. And they know Facebook is just really killing them in the social media game. So, so should you join Google Plus? Should you create a Google Plus page for your business? I don't see why not, as long as you just keep your expectations in check. Understand that this is still very new. We have no idea if this is even going to fly. Um, I will say this though, I actually do enjoy the Google Plus social network. Now, I'm not a huge social media strategist. I'm not coming out with any book anytime soon about, you know, 500 strategies I use on social media to improve my revenue or anything like that. Um, but I do use it to keep in touch with my followers and I share my latest content. And I've really made some nice connections on Google Plus. The, the conversations there seem to be a lot more productive than, say, Facebook or Twitter. And no slam to anybody who's on the other sites, but it is a different conversation on Google Plus. And I think depending on who you talk to, you hear different stories. Like people who are in the social media, blogging, internet marketing space, they love Google+. But then you'll go talk to somebody else in another space and they're like, 
None of my competitors use it. None of my family and friends use it. Like, why would I even use Google Plus? So it really depends on, you know, who you talk to. One of my favorite components of the Google Plus network and page is that they have a really cool photo album. I know people don't typically point out that as one of the, the perks, especially when it comes to marketing, but um, I found a fun little way to promote my ebooks on my new Google Plus page. I have a link to it in the description, so check it out. As I said in the other video, I still think we have to be mindful of how much we rely on Google and understand that they should just be a piece of your traffic. But at the same time, it's hard to ignore Google because it's Google. Like it or love it, that's the way it is. So I would love to hear from you. And I have a feeling a lot of you guys have a lot to say based on what you said in my last video about the Google phone call. So talk to me. Are you using Google Plus pages? Are you not? Tell me why. I'll see you later. Bye.